Question 13, this is another quantitative evidence question. So the question seems to be always the same, so let's not really look at it. We know what it's asking. It wants evidence to support the claim made in the text. So we'll start with the graph and try to get, like I said, the story, which is pretty important to do. Employment by sector in France and the United States. So uh, let's see, where's France? Here's France and the United States is the other side. And I can see they're comparing agriculture and manufacturing and services on both sides, the past to the present. And you know, again, in terms of story, I'm not really getting much. What, what am I missing, guys? Do you see the story here? I see a bunch of numbers. They generally look the same. Well, maybe not exactly the same, maybe a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's hit the passage. Now I've, I've copied it a little bit smaller here. I'll just, embiggen it, make it a bit bigger, as it were. Okay, so it begins here. Over the past 200 years, the percentage of the population employed in the agricultural se sector, which is uh, farming, has declined. So farming is down in France and the United States. While, so this is a pivot, something is up. Prediction, very important. While employment in the service sector which is like retail and consulting and real estate that has risen. Okay, good prediction. Um, so service up. However, this happened at very different rates in the two countries. Really, I, did I miss something? It happens at two totally different rates and this can be seen when you compare blank and blank. So let's compare, how is it different? Now let's be clear, we're comparing agriculture and services in both countries. Oh, this is interesting. Check this out. So we don't actually really need to even really consider manufacturing unless I'm misreading something. It looks like we're just comparing those two. Ah, now I'm seeing more of a difference too. It looks like in 1800, they both had this, uh, you know, percentage of employment in the farm. So mostly farming and not so much services. That's true in the United States too. And then in agriculture uh, in France in 1900 was still stronger than services, and that's true in the States. Mm. And here's where things start to get a bit different. Now it looks a bit half and half in France, whereas in the States it's uh, definitely a strong push towards services in 1950. And then in modern times, or somewhat modern times here, 2012, definitely way more services than farming in both countries. So let's shift back to the yellow highlighter, just so you can see that difference more clearly. We have a really clear rough answer in our head, and I think that's the secret to doing well on the test. In my head, this can be seen clearly by comparing any year with 1950. If you just look at the 1950 and compare it to any year, that's, you're gonna see a really big difference, because that's the only, um, general era of difference here. So 1950 is my rough answer and um, I'm done because I only see it in A and I circle A.